Hello everyone, and thank you very much for your interest in the Cold Steel Subs Hajimari Overlay Program and Zero Field Translation Spreadsheet. This brief video should help you understand how to install the Cold Steel Subs Hajimari Overlay Program, operate it, and then we'll show you some tips with the Overlay Program to help make your experience as smooth as possible. So first, we're going to need uh, four things. Uh, you're going to need to have the PS4 and a DualShock 4 controller. Then you'll need a PC with at least four gigabytes of memory. And then either you're going to need a capture card with the necessary capture card software installed, or you're going to need a good internet connection, a good reliable internet connection, uh, and a PS4 Remote Play installed from uh, PlayStation.net. Uh, we'll provide a link to that in the description below as well. And then last but not least, you will need the Cold Steel Subs Hajimari Overlay Program. Next, you'll visit the link in the description below from the Zero Field website to download the Overlay Program. Once you click on that link, you should see a page that looks uh, similar to this one, and you'll click right here where it says Download Overlay Program. Once you've downloaded the file, go ahead and extract the build folder right onto your desktop. To initiate the game and overlay program, first turn on your PS4, and then we're going to initiate the program that will display the game on our PC. So if you do not possess a capture card, uh, be sure to first use a USB cable to connect your DualShock 4 controller directly to your PC. Uh, then you want to go ahead and run the PS4 Remote Play program, which I have up right now for you guys. And then you're going to want to enter in your PSN credentials and log into your PS4 via your PSN account. If you do possess a capture card, then you can go ahead and run your capture card software. For me, I've got an Elgato uh, capture card, so I'm going to run uh, Elgato Game Capture HD. I bring that open. Even if you do have a capture card, I think it's wise to go ahead and hook up your DualShock 4 controller to your PC via USB so that way you can advance the subtitles using your DualShock 4 controller instead of having to use your keyboard. Once you have either PS4 Remote Play or your capture card software running, you can go ahead and open up the build folder that's on your desktop. And uh, once you have it open, click on the coldsteelsubs.exe. Go ahead and double click that to open it up. While the overlay program opens up, you'll see that it's going to be pulling the most updated version of the subtitle spreadsheet directly from the from zerofield.net each time it started. Alright, now that you've got the capture software running and you've got the overlay program running, you can go ahead and start up Hajimari on your PS4 if you haven't already. And the first thing we're going to do in Hajimari is we're going to go to the, uh, to the system settings on the main menu. You're going to go down to this option right here under game settings, the very last game setting option. And this is going to take you to the key bindings. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure that L2 and R2 are not bound to anything because those are going to be the two buttons on your controller that we use to um, ex uh, advance the text or go back to the previous line on text for the subtitle program. So to do that, you're going to go down to the very bottom of the uh, key bindings menu for L2 and R2. And you're going to change them to this very last option right here and that sets it to do nothing. So just make sure that that's done first. After you've done that, congratulations, you're pretty much ready to go to begin enjoying The Legend of Heroes, Hajimari no Kiseki, with English subtitles. So to operate the overlay program, first and foremost, make sure that Cold Steel Subs is the active window to operate the subtitles. Next, uh, to advance the subtitles line by line, you can press the X button on the controller Uh, which will also advance lines in game, or you can use the right arrow key on your keyboard to advance the lines. Uh, when you're in a scene where there is in-game dialogue text that automatically adv advances, you can press the X button, uh, the right arrow key on your keyboard, or the R2 button by default to advance the text. You can use the L3 button to disable or re-enable the subtitles from advancing for when no dialogue is present. For example, when you're in battles or something. Uh, so here I can press the X button now that the, te the text is locked, uh, and that way I won't advance the, the subtitles. If you do advance the subtitles too far by accident, uh, no worries. You can just go back to the previous subtitle line by pressing the L2, L2 button by default, or you can use the left arrow key on your keyboard. Uh, when you finish a chapter, 
you can change the OLA program to the next chapter by selecting the drop down menu on the top left of the screen. Right here at the top left. And say you finished the prologue, you can go ahead and click on chapter one. When the release version of the game is out, it should automatically take you to line one of the chapter when you jump to it. When you decide to play an episode, you can use the chapter select drop down menu at the top left and select the episode you would like to start. Here I've gone ahead and already selected an episode. And then a button will appear below that that will return you exactly to the main story chapter that you were at on the exact line that you were at. To view translations of items, courts, crafts, brave orders, and their effects, at the top right of the screen where it says combat overlay, click on that drop down menu. And here you can view all accessories and items and their descriptions. So here for quartz as an example, look on all the earth quartz. You can see all their Japanese names, then their English name, their stats and their effects, as, long, as well as other added arts. Really quickly, you can also do the same for crafts. And we'll just pick, pick Elisa here. So you can see her four crafts here listed, along with her S craft the power break on balance, the area, and all the effects all in English. These are all in order that they appear in the game as well. Uh, you can expand or um, shrink this menu as well. And all these windows that appear here, you can drag and drop anywhere you want to put them on your, on your screen. If you prefer to have the overlay user interface hidden, you can press the tab key to hide it. And then the subtitles can still still be operated normally. And if you want to ever bring the user interface back, just press tab again. When you're on a field map and active voice lines appear, we recommend using the right arrow keys on your keyboard to advance the text so you don't inadvertently attack or use your charge attack in game while advancing the lines. So here I'm using the arrow keys. But if you press the X key, you're going to attack. And you might not want to do that when you're trying to advance the text. And the last tip is if the overlay for some reason stops responding to your inputs on your controller or your keyboard, please check to make sure that Cold Steel Subs is the active window in Windows. This whole project was made possible by the Zero Field team, the uh, Cold Steel Subs overlay creators, and the Combat Sheet translation. Kitsune 547 was in charge of the story translation. Corey, Logan, GD Anon, February Knight, and Xmas were in charge of text capture. Pizza Frog, Cog Gear Omega, Etoile were the editors. Then we had for translation and checking, we had Vess, Hanske, Kofi, and Pilter. The overlay creators are Arti and Zolvier. And then for the combat sheet translation, we had Fate and Solus Zero. If you guys want to leave any feedback uh, to the overlay de developers, uh, please send an email to overlaydevs at gmail.com. And if you find any translation issues or you want to give feedback for the translation, uh, send an email to kitsune547 at gmail.com. All the links that uh, we discussed here will be provided in the description in the video below. And we hope that this video tutorial helps make your experience of Hajimari the best it can be. Thank you very much for watching, guys.